All right, we're here with senior wide receiver Ryan Lincoln. Set the school record tonight, most career receptions, uh, but most importantly played a key role in the team's comeback victory, had over 100 yards receiving, and uh, maybe your biggest offensive play, the 31-yard uh, run. Just talk a little about tonight's game. Oh, man, it was a hard fight battle. Knowing, that, knowing coming into this game it was going to be war. I mean, basically playoff atmosphere, so we just had to come out and maintain. We got down early, but uh, coach came at, pumped us up, came back in uh, the second half and got the win. Was it a little frustrating in the second half? You guys kept going on long drives and weren't able to punch it in for a while. Yeah, I mean, just a few couple of plays here and there. But Brom stepped in and uh, kicked, kicked uh, two key uh, field goals and uh, got us over the hump. And then talk about last drive. You guys you guys get it back 4.15 to play. Three plays, 73 yards, touchdown. Big run. Uh, were you worried at all that you guys may have scored a little bit early? Uh, not really. I mean, never scoring too early is a bad thing because uh, there's seven on the board. They have to go down and score. But uh, we just had to come out for a minute drill. We know that. Came, uh, no penalties, no no mistakes. Come out, stay consistent, and did what we did and uh, punched it in. Talk a little about just breaking the uh, the school career receptions record. Uh, I'm very humble about it. I mean, I'm so happy and not knowing that I'll be a receiver coming to Kingsville. Uh, you know, so I'm just very pleased to have that record. Uh, now we can move on and uh, set something else. All right, thank you. All right, we're here with junior quarterback Nate Popple. Nate, uh, great win tonight, and really your first game winning drive as a Havelina. How'd it feel? Uh, it feels great, you know, playing a tough team like this. West Texas came in, they jumped on us early a little bit, and we knew we were going to have to, it was a dogfight to get back into the game. Uh, fortunate to get an opportunity there at the end to, to get a game winning score, and uh, the big boys up front really led that drive, so. That one, we, we kind of hopped on their back, and they, they led us that one. Now, second half, you guys, you know, were down pretty big, came out, got three long drives, all ended in field goals. Was that a little frustrating for you guys? It was frustrating in a sense, um, getting, you know, doing that much work, uh, starting at, starting in our own territory and coming back and having to get those drives. But we knew that we, we were starting to click on offense, and, and at that point we were willing to settle for field goals because we knew our defense was going to play good enough to get us another shot at it. Now, were you worried at all that you may have scored too quickly? You guys got it back with 4 15 left and then three quick plays later touchdown yeah that is true uh, they have a potent offense we saw that they, they can score uh, you know in seconds sometimes they put up big numbers on offense all year but our defense really got in the zone there in the second half and, and played big for us uh, shut them down really the second half and, and that helped us out a ton all right how's this help you guys going forward Nate uh, it helps us uh, tremendously you know we needed this one uh, stay in that playoff hunt stay in the LSC hunt and it'll, it'll, it'll push us forward we got a long way to go all right, we're here with senior safety Corey Robertson Corey big win for the team tonight over West Texas A&M First half, you guys struggled on defense. What were some of the changes you were able to make at halftime that shut them out in the second half? Well, coach just told us to play together and you know keep fighting out there. It was a four-play ball game. We gave up a lot of big plays in the first half, but we regrouped, got back together, and finished it out. Now, late in the game, we were down uh, five. Coach didn't go for it on fourth and goal from the two. Is that saying that he had confidence in you guys to make that make the next stop? I think so. I mean, you know, we knew that the game was still it was still a long ways from being over, and, and you know, we get we made a stop. The offense hadn't been stopped the whole second half. We get the ball back to him. We go down there and win. How big a win was this for you guys? It's big, but you know, we can only get better from here. All right, we're here with. Uh, Junior linebacker Marcus Sanders. Marcus, maybe the biggest play of the night for the defense. Hadn't got to the quarterback all night long, and then on fourth down, got the big sack. You know, was that just the case where you guys brought the blitz? Yeah, I mean, we was able to just, we was in there delaying blitzes and just bluffing them all night. You know, we knew we would come with pressure sooner or later. Coach called the right play at the right time, and unfortunately, me and my teammates were able to make the play. What were some of the uh, changes you guys made at halftime after giving up, you know, 24 points in the fir first half and a couple of big plays? What were some of the things you guys, uh, I guess, what were some of the adjustments? Well, we realized it wasn't what they were doing to us, it was what we were doing to ourselves. So basically we just talked to each other, settled down, just got everything under control, and went out there and played our game. It was just a couple of big plays, missed tackles, busted coverages, all that's on us. So we just really just got our stuff together and played how we know how to play, how we football. All right, thanks, Mark.